Hello, my Cosmic Healing Tribe. Welcome to the Daily Astrology and Tarot Late Afternoon Energy Check-In for October 9th, 2020. Um, so today has been a very hard day, and it's going to continue to be a hard day. Even when the moon moves into Leo tomorrow, um, I'm still really feeling that heart coming through. I mean, this is because this morning we have the moon square Chiron. So we have all are really in this place of being aware of our emotional energies, of where the friction is. So if you're going through today, and you're like, what the hell is going on with everybody? It is because we are in the last quarter square of the moon. And when we have the last quarter square of the moon, this is our sun and our moon in opposition. And here it's the moon in cancer, which is all about our feelings, our need to nurture, where we feel secure in ourselves, how we're being nurtured or how we're not being nurtured, coming into conflict with our relationships with other people, our partnerships of all kinds. Where are you allowing you to actually show up to be at home in your relationships and since it is the um, third quarter going third to fourth quarter square of the moon there is this awareness of where there needs to be adjustment and since the universe is very much calling us to be accountable for our own energetic processes it's really hitting hard in the heart so that's why today I really want you guys to continue to be very loving with yourself very kind with yourself understand that you are clearing um a lot of energy um we have with that moon square in chiron this is about how in your life in your family history you were or not nurtured in your life so we do have this very deep awareness though that is allowing us to communicate about this because we do have the moon in a sextile to mars which is a very good as aspect mars retrograde of us reviewing and rearranging and embracing learning new communication around these things we also have the moon in a sextile to Uranus early this morning that opens up the gate to communication, that opens up this offering of talking it out. We also still have a very good element of Mercury and quintile to Pluto, which is saying, okay, let's get creative about these energies. Let's express them. The key to this today is not denying what's actually at play. And this is definitely the energy when we have Mars retrograde square Pluto, um, that is just, it's hot, it's war energy, it's aggressive, it's everybody trying to like kind of, kind of imagine that everybody in one way or another is trying to piss on a post, right? And be like, this is my place, this is my zone. And what's really important about these energies when we have this kind of possessive holding on, trying to <clears throat> energy is that it's rooted in a fear of abandonment that in one way or another, through what you have or have not gotten to experience in your life, the energies of love and possession and control um, have to find how you express yourself of, I'm not going to show too much because then they'll get the upper hand or um, I'm going to show more caring than actually is real, right? It's really saying, what are you expressing? It isn't authentic. And if it is not authentic, commit to allowing yourself to heal. So be very gentle with yourselves today. We do have the moon opposing Jupiter, which amplifies all the energy, right? So if you're feeling high, it can feel very high. If you're feeling low, it can feel very low. And the key is to allowing yourself to learn balance. So talk it out, express it out. Um, there is a lot of social energy in the air. So if you're going out and you're meeting people, that's good. Um, as long as it's centered in like activities that are very healing for you. Um, if you are partaking of any type Type of mind altering drugs um please be very careful um with so many pluto aspects um in the sense of not really being fully aware of what you need or what you're used to can lead to going overboard so be loving be caring um and go towards healthier forms of self-care and communication the card that we have today is the king of cups so there's this is that leading with your heart um, of really saying to yourself, I'm here, I'm present. Um, this is can also have this kind of love them and leave them energy. Um, so really be honest about where you've been playing um, in your relationships. And if that's a game or if these are games that you still want to engage in. And if there is an opportunity for change or that you want to make an opportunity to change, lead with your heart. You know, don't hide what actually matters to you. Um not to yourself or to the people who are in your life. I would like to say thank you to everybody who came to Tea and Terrell Thursdays last night. I had so much fun with you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.